didn't see there. Man, dirt naps aren't bad, but between you and me, I think I prefer a mattress. I bet you didn't even notice I was gone with the perfect body double I put in. Well, now that I'm back, thought it would be, you know, right to tell you. I had the perfect idea of joining the dead community, and won't lie, it was pretty cool. Like, honestly, they're like, pretty drama free and stick to themselves. But, they got boring, so here I am now. But, I hope you don't mind, I brought some of the friends I made over. Oh my god, that was almost an apocalypse. You ever know an anime, not, not like personally, but it's been dormant for a while for one reason or another, like to the point where it's just a relic of the past, but then you check news headlines and BOOM! New project announced. If not, where were you any of these years? Oh, that last one was when the Bible 2 was announced. I think it's interesting. While not a completely unique or rare event to happen, that doesn't change the fact that it can be genuinely surprising news, especially in this anime climate, where it feels like a show or property either catches its momentum and keeps it going, or or it's Grimgar Fantasy and Ash, yes, that still hurts to say. There's just something exciting about a show coming back for its old fans, and hey, maybe with the announcement of a dormant show, new people might hop on. People who weren't really active in the whole anime scene before it originally came out. Like, it's cool for, like, fans of The Devil is a Part-Timer, but it can give you hope for just about anything. I just think it'd be pretty fun to talk about properties that would be considered dead if it weren't for either a lack of integrity or maybe too much integrity. A lot of shows or franchises could have either just soft-ended as in it just didn't seem worth it to continue series on momentum standpoint. And that's where Dorara comes in. The first season, which came out in 2010, ended in honestly a pretty solid spot. They closed out some of the plot lines and ended on a question mark, like hey, maybe something could happen. That may be kept up for five years before 136 episode season came out. You know, to take care of all the content in the remaining 10 books, which you would think wouldn't work too well, but hey, you know what? This seems fine. And seeming fine's okay with me, like, this smoke in the air isn't bothering anyone. Speaking of light novels, the Magical Index series. Yeah, Magical Index. Talk about an absolute mega series, which is insanely huge in Japan. Imagine a 52-part book series just existing and ongoing, and it's 52 volumes, and that's just the main series. There are 17 volumes of Railgun, 12 of Accelerator, and the franchise has a total of 7 anime seasons across 3 properties. And a pattern that goes Index 1, Railgun, Index 2, Railgun S in 2013, then 5 years passed where people thought the series was dead. Why was it gone? for so long after it was well established that it did well, especially four seasons in. But in 2018, it came back with three separate seasons. One was Magical Index 3, which came back to adapt nine volumes, which wraps up the first 22-volume series. Not gonna lie, it was pretty rushed, and I probably couldn't tell you what happened in it, but I can tell you that following year in 2019, a certain scientific accelerator came out, keeping up the year re release schedule. And then we wrapped up Railgun T, which was the third season that covered volumes 8 through 13, and then another season of Silence. I mean, Railgun T is pretty cool and all, but I'm liking what Magical Index is doing right now. So this isn't the longest series that's been dead, with just five years in between seasons occasionally, but it's one of the few that I could find that was brought back from the dead just to become dead again. Possibly. We're on year two going on year three with no Magical Index anime news. And I guess if we want to talk about popular anime coming back, we could mention something a tad more niche. It was pretty radio silent for 16 years, but a low series called Dragon Ball came back to a new canon movie that jumpstart an entire new series called Dragon Ball Super. Can't say I ever heard of these Dragon's Balls. Do they have anything in common with Henry's Bucket of Dinosaurs? This has probably been the strongest revival. For starters, the series never faded into pure irrelevancy. Whether that be from fan-made content or the games that just kept coming out practically literally once a year. But after Battle of Gods, we got Resurrection F, then the Super Anime, and two more movies after that with no sign of slowing down. Man, the concept of death in Dragon Ball is so loose, even the series got revived. While a lot of people have their doubts about the quality being compared to Dragon Ball in its heyday, it's a series that ended twice already and it's been 20 years since then. It's tragic, but it makes sense, just like bringing back a cult hit property after 15 years of it being considered officially over. I mean, you had to cash in on that name value, you don't get like clickbait titles like Flicka out of nowhere. 
gotta cash in. If I'm being honest, I haven't necessarily looked too much into this series. I know it was pretty highly respected by a small but loyal following, and I never really heard complaints about how it ended, so what possessed enough people to come together and make more episodes of this OVA series? I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem like too many people were fond of it, at least based on it's my anime list rating for both new seasons of Alternative and Progressive. I mean, I can't really think of anything else relevant that's come back in the past few years, so I guess we're just gonna have to close off the- Oh god, what's that? Why is it so loud? Oh, my love for Bleach has been dormant for so long. So, a member of the big three, yes, Bleach, One Piece, and Naruto are the big three. I do not accept debates on this topic, and please don't ruin my mood. I am currently living on Cloud9 of Bleach's return to animate the Thousand Year Blood War arc. However, a little history. In 2012, the last episode of the original run for the anime ended due to poor ratings, but it at least concluded the Fullbringer arc. And it did feel like it had a bit of a proper send-off and everything, but the story wasn't finished. The manga still had another arc in the oven for like, four years. But even after that, hold on, let me get some quotation marks on screen. The manga ended? News about the anime continuing was absolutely silent. It was a buzzing topic, hell, even a fan animation studio made an episode of the final arc out of sheer passion to see the series continued. But in 20. 20, it was announced to come back, much to people's shock and happiness. Man, I love good news! I hope one of my other favorite shonen doesn't get the bleach treatment to make room for bleach. Son of a bitch! Well, it's not extremely common for a series to come back from the dead. It's happened enough to where a revival here or there is expected to happen, if not every season, at least a handful a year. Reboots on properties from yesteryear, or maybe a corporation figured out if they erased part of Code Geass it could continue it, most of the time, it's honestly great. Like, I'm glad we got more of a maybe some more coming down the pipeline. And I'm sure most of the time, there is a reboot, or a continuation, or a little bit of column A or B, there are fans that are excited about it. It's also an excellent way for older properties to get newer attention by modernizing what was originally a possibly old series, or just a way to make sure time doesn't forget a property that's timeless. And each day that passes, there's a bigger and bigger list of properties that people want to see receive a similar treatment as things like Bleach, or maybe a redo the same way Full Machmas Brotherhood or Fruits Basket got treated. If I'm being honest, I really like the fact that anime can just come back with another season after years or a new project or anything like that. While it's not always executed the best, I like the fact that anime always has a chance of coming back and capturing a new audience that may not have had a chance to hear about them. But I have a confession. I did bring something back to start an apocalypse. I brought back the most dangerous thing that humanity just got rid of. And I'm so sorry. God. This is the worst apocalypse ever. I brought back the McRib. 